Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the Alphabot Industries Valkyrie MK2. And yes, this is a spinner video. You know, it was just about a year ago that um, a spinner called the Torque Bar came on the scene. This one right here. And this thing kind of caught the world by storm. Um, it was pretty expensive, 150 bucks you know, direct from the maker up to maybe $800 or $1,000 on eBay. And what happened was people really liked the concept of something you could fidget with. So they went from the torque bar, and then you had small makers start to 3D print stuff in their garages, and, you know, that took off, and these sold like crazy. And then you had other makers come in and do some really cool one-off machine ones, like the Valkyrie, the original one here. And then what happened was, um, you know, overseas manufacturers in China started pumping them out by the hundreds of thousands. And so they hit every Walmart, Kmart, grocery store, uh, 7-Eleven, everywhere you could possibly imagine to the point that you can't really go two feet without seeing them. And so the demand has died as supply has, you know, surpassed demand. And this all happened in essentially a year or less, which is pretty crazy. But I still like spinners. Um, I spend a lot of time on conference calls, um, client calls, meetings. And so rather than click a pen or bite my nails, I'll sit here and I will spin a spinner. Well, the Valkyrie is one that I liked a lot. I thought the machining was really well done. The balance was good. Um, the finger pads were really, really good. And so what they did is they took this large design and they came out with a much smaller one called the Valkyrie MK2. So there is a size comparison is they shrunk this one down significantly and for another size comparison here's just the torque bar so anyways this was their new model um, I've been carrying this one for probably a couple months so I thought I'd share it with you guys assuming you are still interested I do realize that Blade HQ did a video recently on spinners and they got murdered in the comments so I don't know I might see more of the same down in my comments below. It is what it is. So here's the stainless steel version. They do have a couple different versions, so let me show you guys how they ship. Tin can, comes with a carry pouch, the, I don't know, kind of a card here, I guess. MK2, oh yeah, card, warranty, maintenance, all that good stuff. And then they have some versions that are coated, and these are done in a Cerakote which is a really high quality um, coating that's often used on knives and firearms, so really durable stuff. So obviously this one is a red Cerakote, and obviously the pouch makes sense, so that way you can carry this thing around and not worry about, get, about it getting scratched up. So another one, I'll just take it out of its tin, is a black Cerakote here. They also have a blue one, along with the stainless, um, and then they had some, I think, copper brass ones as well. But anyways, oh, that's the large one. Let's get the small one. So here are the, you know, three versions that I have. And I've only carried the stainless one so far. I didn't want to scratch these ones up before getting to a video. But um, average, well, let's go over the specs real quick. So the length is 2.15 inches. The width is 0 0.74 inches. The thickness is 0 0.43 inches. Weighs in at um, 1.9 ounces on my scale, and that's in the stainless steel. The brass is a little bit heavier. Bearings are R188, and they are done with, uh, you know, chrome ball bearings, I suppose. So let me take one apart and show you. And while I'm doing that, might as well spin these so you guys don't complain about there being lack of spinning in a spinner video. So I'm going to take this one apart real quick. So the average spin time, the I guess the claim spin time is three to seven minutes and I've gotten about five minutes with this one um, on average and that's a two-handed spin. So pretty long threading which is good so it won't come apart. And that cap hit the floor. Anyways, there are the bearings. And you use a coin or something, you take it out, replace them. And then they all come with an extra set of bearings. If for some reason I suppose you damage them, um, they're in here. So you can replace your bearings if you need to. So that's what they look like inside. Let's take a look at the machining real quick. 
the Alphabot robot on both sides. No sharp edges. Um, really well done as far as the machining goes. And then they also have some additional laser work on the finger pads, and the finger pads are nice and deep. Um, you don't find yourself slipping. They're not as good as they were on the previous version where it's a really deep inset, you know, but being smaller, they, they work pretty well. I have no complaints on these, and I didn't find them coming unscrewed as I, you know, fidgeted with this one. So, those are the specs. Um, really well done. Great balance. Um, great machining. The finger pads are pretty good. No sharp edges. Um, so, you know, this is definitely one of the better ones. Price point goes from 36 to 39 give or take. And I'll put all the links down in the description box below. But, anyways, that's a look at the Alphabot Industries Valkyrie MK2. Again, one last size comparison here. You know, between these two. And, who knows, this may be the last spinner video I do unless something comes out that just, I guess, blows my mind. So... Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, more videos to come, and take care.